Hi everyone, it's Dolphin Treasure here, and welcome back to this week's gaming video. We were continuing with the game called The Boss, which everybody knows by now is a fan-made game for Jacksepticeye by Jacksepticeye fans. And so far, I have been really, really enjoying myself. This game is a lot of fun, and it's bringing back some nostalgia with different videos and video games that he has played in the past before. In the last episode, we got to go through some portal levels, and we got to meet an old foe, GLaDOS, and we kind of had a friend of me going on sort of kind of a little bit also in the last episode you kind of heard a little bit of a glitchy moment with GLaDOS so you're kind of like hmm I wonder who that actually is wink wink and I'm wondering if this is getting towards the end of the game I honestly don't know how long this game goes on for so I don't know if this is gonna be the last episode or not and we left off at again at Jack's apartment we just found the last Hydra Spear some key so hopefully Alphas can get our computer fixed and we can just go from there. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into the game. Oh, and I got a little mascot with me today. Eee! It's our little autograph box, little Foxy. Mwah. He is here to cheer us on and be like, yay, go Aaron, you can do it, you can do it, yay. All right, and he is going to sit right here on my desk. Okay, Foxy, you believe in me? Fist bump me, dude. Yeah, that's my boy. Mwah. Good job, okay. Let's get into the game. So we left off right here in the apartment. The shop is fully open. There is a huge line going into my bathroom. I cannot get into the bathroom. Toriel is blocking my kitchen. We still have the little kitty cat Pokemon looking thing over here. This little goopy goop over here. Um, so that plate of cookies and milk is still sitting out. I wouldn't trust it. I would not trust it for the life of me. And Frank came to visit, and so did Mr. Midnight. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna see if they have anything new to say. Ah, Jack! Toriel, let me guess, the kitchen's still unsuitable for my viewing? Uh, that is correct. Somehow the unthinkable has happened. The unthinkable? What does that mean? It means it's something you couldn't possibly think of, Jack. Heh, <laughs> very funny. The spaghetti that Papyrus and Undine had cooked earlier had morphed into a being of sentience and is demanding sacrifices. We were currently assembling a team to dismantle the monster and send it to its core back and send its core back to the nethers of space. The flying spaghetti monster? No! No! No, you don't want to send him back to space. He can stay here. He can live in my bedroom. I don't care. I I'll, I'll, you know, get like a like a bowl or something for him to live in my closet. Don't send her back to space. You know, Toriel, you are absolutely right. That was the unthinkable. <laughs> so now we got a flying spaghetti monster in our kitchen. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's see if B has anything new to say. Don't talk to me. I'm brooding. Um, why? Because it's my character. I'm brooding and a little bit sarcastic. A little bit? Shut up. I just need a cigarette. You have one in your mouth. Which you're not allowed to smoke in my apartment. Yes, I respect that. I also can't smoke outside your apartment either. Stupid Wireland is so fragile. I have to come back. I have to go back to the game to smoke. So go back to your game? I can't. They won't let me. They? I'm their ride. Have you tried quitting? I'm sure your friends would support you if you decided to, and it would be better for your lungs. Oh, stop the PSA. Everyone knows smoking's bad for you. We do it because subconsciously, we just want to die. Well, I guess it's your funeral. Alrighty, Angus. How are you holding up, Angus? I'm exhausted. I've been trying to protect your apartment. Uh, what has everyone been doing? You don't want to know, but it involved ending papyrus and blowtorch, and a blowtorch, and the last of your kitchen appliances. And it will rule the world one day. I'll hail your new overlord! Not my cooker! Its funeral was especially touching. Oh, poor Jack, it doesn't have anything to cook on now! Gosh darn it. <gasps> You're back! <clears throat> Did you have a fun adventure? Uh, not really. Did you commit lots of cool crimes? Well, we were technically trespassing. 
Well, we did almost blow up the nuclear facility. Yeah, and we almost died a horrible death. Yeah, just a minor detail. I hope I could blow up a nuclear facility one day. For all of our sakes, we hope you never get the chance. And if you do, I'm not bailing you out of prison again. I'd bail you out. You wouldn't be able to from behind bars. I meant that in spirit. Wow, what a lovely group of friends. Oh, thank you for re reuniting me with my dear friend. No, oh, it was nothing. Okay, I almost died a few times, but no big deal. Well, I'm glad you're okay, Mr. Midnight. Hey, Fran. Oh, now we get to see the little relationship between Fran and me. Okay, all right. <laughs> Hello, Billy. Hello, Jack and Cliff. Uh, thank you again for saving my kitty. That was no problem. Only took a creepy dark ritual. Uh, what? I had to do a dark ritual to bring Mr. Midnight back to Fran's reality. No, it was no, big, no biggie. Again? Ugh, I'm sorry, Fran. I wish you'd called me. I would have come help. Oh, I know you would have, but I'm sure you were doing something really important for the team. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I was. Uh, really important. Uh, they couldn't have done it without me. <clears throat> I walked through Freddy Fazbear's Pizza to distract all the killer animatronics from them so they could go find the Hydra Spearson key and save millions of fans from eternal entrapment in the hard drive. Oh, how very brave of you. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Brave. Taking one for the team. <clears throat> Should we tell her what he was wearing? <sighs> nah, man. Let him have his moment. <laughs> that's so cute. Can we get into the bedroom yet? So, I guess it's pointless asking if I can get into my own bedroom. You need immunization record. We need to make sure you are clear of such plagues as sleep, love, D's, not stupidity. What the fudge? Yeah, thanks for infecting Marland with laughable stupid diseases. You can't take an outbreak of my ass seriously. <laughs> it was still funny. How are you pushing 30 and it's and still this immature? With great immaturity comes great responsibility. That's true. Oh, uh, I need a vacation. Get passport and immunization records and come back. Glory to blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this done and over with. <gasps> Little Nugget's back. Okay, what Nugget, what do you have to say? Nugget is this consulate that you are leaving wider than so soon. Aw, Nugget, I'm sorry. Nugget will never forget the time we had together, however minuscule. We didn't really have a lot of time together. Nugget has not forgotten the time we brought about the apocalypse together. Aww. You have kept your Nugget safe. But I don't have it with me. It is a metaphysical Nugget. The Nugget in your heart. Oh, Nugget, you're so cute. I love you, dude. But please take this final Nugget as a token of Nugget's appreciation. I got a Nugget! Yay! Now Nugget is distraught over your departure and does not like long goodbyes. Shoo! Aw, Nugget, I'm gonna miss you too. If it even works. Okay. Papyrus? God, I love their little Jacksepticeye shirts. It's so cute. Oh, please stay away from the kitchen. We've been hearing that a lot lately. It's a good idea to repeat sound life-saving advice every so often. I have a feeling we better listen to them this time. I mean, it's not like we can get past Toriel anyway. Yeah, she seems to have our best interests at heart too. All right, Undine, what do you gotta say? Hey, <laughs> don't look in the kitchen. Huh? You've been a lot more subtle in that plea all the other times we've been here. Uh, at this point, avoiding the kitchen could save your lives, so it's best just to come out and say it. Don't go in the kitchen. We should probably take that advice. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> Let's go in, though. Billy, do not make me carry you around like a sack of potatoes to save you from whatever Indiana Papyrus literally cooked up. You'd save my life? Um, yeah, I guess it would. Aw, your story arc is complete. My story arc was about saving Billy's life all this time? I need a more interesting arc. Well, at the very least, you're showing growth. I'm proud of you, Jack. Aw, thanks, Jenny. 
I'm going to punch a tree to get these warm and fuzzy feelings out of my system. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Blech. Okay, Alphys, let's get out of here, please. Oh, you're back! Uh, how did this round go? It was filled with insanity and existentialism. So good then? It was definitely interesting. <laughs> I had a good time. We almost died. Reiterate, died. Died. D-I-E-D. -E I know, and it was awesome. See, Papyrus, Cliff's got the right idea. We're outside our game, and Dean Flaming Unicycles are out of the question. Spoil sport. Uh, anyway, did you find the Hydra Spearson key? Yeah, we found it. It uh, wasn't easy. No, actually, it was easy. The road to getting it? Not so much. Who knew corporate grudges were so difficult to work around? Huh? Uh, never mind. Here you go, Alphys. This fixes the computer for good, right? Uh, let's see what I can do. <gasps> Yay! I heard a good noise! I heard a positive noise! Yay! <gasps> we did it! <gasps> yes! Now we can... There's hesitation. Go home. Oh, there's there's hesitation. Oh, Jack, what's what's the matter? Well, I mean, we can go home now, and of course we have to. But I have no idea how we got here in the first place, and I'll admit, I'm gonna miss it. You're leaving? Well, I mean, this isn't our world, and I can't really play games unless I'm outside the computer, can I? He's right, Papyrus. We're going to miss you so much. Yeah, you're awesome for a total dork. I'm gonna miss you too. Uh, I h hope it's not out of place for me to say this, but if I didn't have to work on your computer the whole time, I... Oh gosh, I'd have li liked to spend more time with you, Jack. Aw, you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys so freaking much. Even if you're not my versions of my characters, you're the first ones I ever saw. We shall miss you too, Cliff, and you, Jenny. Say, man, you guys are really sweet people and very sweet to hang with. Oh, don't forget, double date. Just ask Jack for his IP address. I can't wait to meet your guys. I know it was short time, but apparently that's all it takes, and I'll miss you all too. Jack, you have the best fans, and now you guys are going to be good friends. Yeah, nothing like a good adventure to bring people together. Speaking of, Papyrus, you said we're outside our game. Does that mean if you're inside our game, you consider the unicycles? Well, I suppose so, but that depends on who's writing them. Maybe we can get Sans to do it. Bet him one gold and he'd do it. His dignity is cheap. Dude, the guard pays me well. I could do it for days. Uh, anyway, not that I don't mind delaying what's coming, but... Uh, yeah, we should get you guys home. All you need to do now is go through your bedroom door, and that should do it. It's set up to take you all home. Why the bedroom? The computer was a bit finicky with the directions. I got through the firewall, but it won't set up the way home anywhere else. But that's being blocked off. Yeah, Little Potato Man's dubbed himself the border guard for Jack's bedchamber. You can forge the documents. Sans is great at foraging. Undine, you're a royal god! How could you suggest such a thing? There's literally no way to get legit documents in that game. So fight fire with fire, huh? <laughs> Sounds good to me. I doubt he's going to know the difference. You saw the stuff he gave you, Jack. Obvious forgeries? Yeah. Well, it's worth a shot. Well, you better get in line soon. Sans doesn't serve cutters. He'll let us in the front so far. He's been cracking down on rules since this little kid started going through the line putting gum in everyone's hair. Are you going to have to stand in that really long line? 
You might not need to, Billy, but Jack certainly will, and I'll stand with him, even if I don't need documents. Yeah, that's a good point. Are we gonna need to fool him too? Nah, he says he runs a strict border, but he sees you're with the Jack. He'll let you by. Welp, better get going. Yeah, you should. But before you do, you should know that once you leave the house, you've left Wireland. As soon as you've crossed the barrier between the game world and reality, you can't come back. Even if you tried to go back, you'd get into the apartment, but we wouldn't be there. No one fictional would be. So, only real people through the door? Only real people. No game characters. We can't leave with you, Jack. No, oh, that's okay. I really appreciate everything that you've done. Yeah, I'm really glad that we met you. You're just as cool as your videos make you look. Oh, thanks everyone. I guess we've got a line to go stand in. Let's get going, Posseptigai! I think I pronounced that right, finally. We just became friends. I don't want to say goodbye now. Aw, oh, Papyrus, it's okay. You have all of Wireland to be friends with you. Well, of course I do, but still not many of us befriend our players. It's been an honor to meet you. All of you. Yeah, it's been an experience, all right. It's been great meeting you guys, too. I guess I'll see you guys around. You know, Jack, I'm really going to miss you. Aw, thanks, Undine. I mean, how many game characters get to punch their own player in the face? Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man, you should have seen your face. Thoroughly jipped again by the amazing Undine. Hey, <laughs> you know it. Swap. Okay. I'm really going to miss you, Jack. It's been so cool to, to get to know you. Oh, I'll miss you too. But hey, who says I can't give Undertale another go, huh? Well, you could, but you're s sort of locked out of any happy ending you could have had. Aren't genocide rocks the best? Beating you senselessly for an hour and a half was a ton of fun. Yeah, that's not something I'm gonna forget anytime soon. <laughs> hey, it was all playtime there. At least I died memorably. That's a really healthy attitude. Maybe I should play genocide. <clears throat> I wish you're undoing the best. Uh, anyway, thank you for everything, Jack. We won't forget you. Alright, guys, I love you. See you. Bye, moi. Oh my god! Look at this line! Alright, I'm gonna save real quick. Look at this line! Oh, I don't think this is gonna work. Yeah, we're just waiting in line. Oh, I love that art style, though. The, the, the entire art style is so cool. Holy shit. What the heck happened to my bathroom? And Segway Steve is going around in squares. The ghost passed out or died, I can't tell. That's really cool. I like the way that they drew Jack. <laughs> His watch just says he's late. I'm completely sold out. Wait, seriously? We spent like, who even knows how long in this line? Eh, what can I say? You're popular. But I got a hairbrush here you can have. Why do you need a hairbrush? You don't even have any hair. Well, that's just discrimination. I offer you a perfectly good hairbrush and you criticize my appearance. How hair you? 
Your insulting comments really cut me deeply. I'm dying on the inside. Well, at least it adds more color to the conversation. Thanks for the offer, but I'll pass on the brush. Well, I guess you could also just tell Potato Man who you are. He might let you through. Who knows? Weirder things have happened. I guess it's not a half-baked idea if we butter him up a bit. This one. I like this one. All right, Posse Septic Guy. I think we should take our chances. Thanks, Sans. I think. Alrighty. I told you. I got nothing left. Set my hairbrush if you want it. Wink. Can't say I do. Nope. Seriously, you can't help me out, dude. Ugh, if I could jump over that, I would punch you. Oh, it's everybody just congregating in my living room. Oh, my gosh. Do I, do I have to talk to all of them here? Oh, you're stopping by to say goodbye to me? Of course, why wouldn't I? Oh, but that means that you care, doesn't it? Of course we care. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, oh no. I don't know. So I guess this is goodbye. I guess it is. I'll miss you, Angus. Even if you didn't say all that much. Sometimes it's better not to fight to get a word in edgewise. Especially with Greg and May around. And in any case, Greg will always listen to me later. Yeah, take care of Greg. He and I are very similar. For some reason, this concerns me more for people in your life. But people like them are necessary to make some people happy. So true. My family says that about me all the time. Well, it's true. Sometimes it's nice not to have to talk. Mm, take care. Thanks, Angus. Do you have to leave? There are so many things we could still do while you're here. Maybe next time we can visit you in your world. That would be awesome. That would be a catastrophe. And the consequences would be a lot more permanent. But seriously, I'm gonna miss you guys. Come back anytime. Next time, bring cookies. Maybe less flammable ones. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you too. I don't think we ever actually said it, but thanks for playing our game. Aw, oh, May, you're welcome. I had a great time. We had a great time too. We're really happy to live in your computer now. There are so many crimes we can commit. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear any of that. Yeah, how are you guys not locked up right now? Uh, we keep escaping. We're on the frequent flyers list. Uh, perhaps I should patch my computer security. But that ruins everyone's fun. Um, anyway, see you around, May. Only if I don't see you first. Alright. Well, goodbye, I guess. Aw, B, let me give you a hug. Don't you dare. Or what? I'll bite you. She is a prickly personality. What was your first clue? Yeah, anyway, I'll see you, B. I'm gonna miss you. Don't tell anyone, but I'll miss you too. Safe travels and avoid the spike fall pits. Spike fall pits in my bedroom? It's more likely than you think. Uh, okay, either way, I'll be cautious. That's the spirit, don't end up like me. <laughs> Poor dude. It was really cool rescuing you. I'll never forget how terrifying it was. For what it's worth, I'm deeply thankful that you did reunite me with my friend. Thank you for that, kiss. Oh, it, it was no problem. Um, and who are you? You know, Jack, fighting you taught me a lot about the power of your community, so thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. They're the best. Can't wait to fight you again sometime. <laughs> Likewise. Fist bump. Boom. Oh, it has been quite an experience meeting you, Jack and Cliff. I don't think I shall ever forget you. Good, because we'll never get, forget you. Especially Billy here. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Well, I'm really happy to have gotten to know you. Please come back to Ireland sometime if you can. I don't know if it's possible, but if I'm never around again, I sure be sure to look you up. Oh, and Billy, I have something for you. I painted it myself. <laughs> I got a Fran Billy egg. Woohoo! Aw, a Fran Billy egg. That's so cute. I, um, I hope you like it. Wow, Fran. Thank you. That, it's, it's great. Aw, that's so cute. Oh, Jack. Do you want to play one more game before you leave? I think I've had just about enough of your games, but thanks for the offer. 
too bad. I was going to give you a free car if you won this time. I don't drive. And even if I did, I could take it with me. <laughs> We'd find a way. Oh, he wouldn't be able to take it with him. Sorry. That sounds highly illegal. Until we meet again, Jack. Yeah, but wait, again? <laughs> See you around. Mmm, she's gonna be in the sequel. So, Jack, uh, I promise I'll pay to get everything fixed or replaced. You know what? It's all water under the bridge. <laughs> Funny you should say water. Well, <laughs> uh, at least the kitchen isn't on fire anymore. Uh, let's ignore the rushing sounds. Yes, that is actually... Undine, what is it exactly? It's actually full of shut up, Papyrus. Oh, because it sounds like shushing. I get it. You guys are so cute. Don't forget to introduce Alphys and me to your Undine and Papyrus. I can't wait. Best crossover ever. Jack, I would like to say that I, the great Papyrus, wish you the best from the bottom of my heart. Even though I don't have one. So I guess it would be fitting to say that the great Papyrus wishes you the best from the bottom of his soul? Use what you have, I guess. Kind of like what we did earlier with the... The thing at the place with the other thing. That sounds familiar. I don't know if we were talking about the same thing, Undine. Regardless, I wish you well, Jack. May your journey home be every bit as great as Papyrus's. No, oh, I'm going to miss doing his voice because I, I love his voice. <laughs> I like the voice that I chose for him. Okay. Well, Billy, it's been an experience. It definitely has. I've been sure to haunt you in the most annoying way possible should you ever play my game again. I would expect nothing less. Okay. Hey, Alphys. I just wanted to say thank you for fixing my computer. Oh, wow. It was nothing. Nothing? Seriously? I wouldn't have been able to get back if it not for you. You're the best, Alphys. Aw, Jack. You're gonna make me cry. Don't make her cry. I'll look like a horrible girlfriend because Sans sold all of my tissues. Couldn't help it. There were doctors from the plague areas here. I figured they needed them more than I did. Thanks. But that's not gonna help wipe a runny nose. Speaking. Aw, but you're already a good girlfriend because you care. Caring doesn't wipe a runny nose either. <laughs> it's fine. I'll just use my sleeve. Problem solved! You're so smart, Alphys. Well, thank you again, Alphys. It was great meeting you. Honestly, it was great meeting all of you. Alright. Papers, please! Uh, will my ID work? I am Jack. You know, as in septic eye. Why you no say so in the first place? I just needed to make sure you were you, and I see now you are. That's all it took this whole time? Hey, just be glad it worked out this time. Well, I guess this is it. Away we go. Bye, everyone. Thank you so much for all the memories. Seriously, it's, it was amazing to meet you all. Hey, if Jenny and Cliff are connected through the internet, we can all hang out with their alternatives. Yeah, it's not totally goodbye. Yeah, dude, and your humans can always give our games a play and biz if you ever start missing us. Or even if you don't. Seriously, though, this has been an amazing experience. I guess I'll see you all in my spare time. I've got some games to revisit. Aww. Come on, Billy. We've got some subscribers to save. I can't, Jack. Didn't you hear what Alpha said? Real people only. You know, it's kind of flattering that you forget I was just a character. Yeah, I... I actually wish you could come. I wish I could too, but, you know, I'm just a couple of sprites in the lines of code. That's all I've ever been. Aww. You know, you've been more than that. You've always been more than that. I know. Actually, it feels weird to say this, especially to you, but you're the best thing that ever happened to me, Jack. Oh, come on, that's not true. All I do is rage at you. Yeah, I know, but... Because of that, because you've singled me out, look around. There's so many versions of me everywhere. Everyone knows who I am. And your subscribers, they really love me. Yeah, they love to hate me. But I'm not a major character. I don't even have my own name. 
All I am is a kid in the back of a bike. You made me so much more than that, Jack. You made me someone special. That's all any character can ask for. I may not have an official name, but I'm proud to be Billy. Aw, I'm glad, Billy. So, I guess this is really goodbye then. Yeah, I guess it is. Unless you play Happy Wheels every now and again. Just promise you won't forget me. I promise. And Billy, thank you. Thank you for- look, Jack. I don't want to, I don't want to do this long, drawn out goodbye. All I want is to hear you say what you always say to me. Screw you, Billy! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Screw you too, Jack. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's go home. Aww. I'm so sweet and so sentimental. Hmm. I love it. Alrighty. Hmm. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, it's fading and getting darker and darker and darker and darker. Hmm. What the? Hmm. I knew you'd come. <gasps> who? What? Who are you? You seriously didn't miss me? I'm disappointed in you. I have thought it would have been obvious. After all this time running around and trying to undo my work. <gasps> oh my god. You mean... I'm the boss. What? But I... I don't understand. Why did you try and stop us from leaving? Who are you? Wow. I guess it's true that no one really cares about me. They only ever tune in to see you. The boss is nothing, after all. Oh. Jack, who is that? It's Auntie, right Jack? It's your computer. And that's an evil you, so that must be Auntie. No. It's Sean, isn't it? Ha! You caught on at last, about time. Oh my gosh, that is... Totally not what I was expecting. Totally not what I was expecting. Oh my gosh, okay. I wondered if you would figure it out or blunder around like an idiot with no idea what was really going on. Wait, wait a minute, what? I thought Sean was your real name. No. Sean is his real name. Wait, but... Don't you get it? That's Jack, the goofball, the yelling idiot who never knows when to quit. He's not me. Not anymore. That is not true. Don't give me that. Don't try to turn against me. I made you. I'm the reason you even exist. No. Don't you give me that, Sean. You've tracked millions of people on my hard drive. And for what? What was the purpose? It doesn't make any sense. Of course it doesn't. I didn't trap them here. Then, who did? Don't you understand? It was Billy who orchestrated this whole thing. He trapped the subscribers, and he called us here. Oh, Billy. Oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. Oh, man. He was... Okay, hold on. I don't want to draw conclusions just yet. Oh, my God. Okay. No, that's crazy. Billy wouldn't do that to us. He cares about the channel and the subscribers. They're what made him who he is. Oh, he didn't know what he was doing. He actually thought he was doing us a favor. No, that makes no... Haven't you ever wondered how he knew you needed power regulators and just so happened to have them on him? How he always seemed to know just the right things to say at just the right moment? He trapped everyone. But he didn't do it to hurt you, or anyone at all. He knew that I was in conflict, so he decided to set this whole adventure up so that I would be the hero. I would see how much my subscribers love me and need me. Then why are there two of you? What do you think, Jack? 
why are we two people? I was so conflicted, and perhaps the computer saw two different people when I was uploading. I turned I into us. And he's not as dumb as he looks. So that's why everything felt off. You weren't completely you, Jack. I, I just thought I was wrong about you, but who you actually were. You seemed different. You've caught on then. I'm surprised. I didn't think anyone would care. Why did you leave those messages? The boss is nothing? The boss is useless? What's the point of leaving them all over the computer to stop me from coming? Come on, Jack. You're smarter than this. You know how this place works. We affect Kanan more than the Kanan. Our thoughts and our opinions and moods, they shape this place. What it is. What it looks like. It's far more than ships or voices or head Kanans. Even the messages found all over reflect how we really feel inside. So why are you still here? The only reason I didn't just leave is that I noticed two subscribers were missing. And I couldn't just leave two people trapped in the hard drive forever. You mean we just glitched into the games instead of wherever this is? Yes, and it was a mistake. You should have been uploaded with the others. Oh, I guess we weren't special after all. No, that's not what I meant. Just come with me and everything's going to be fine. <gasps> what did you do to them? They're with the others now and don't worry, they're fine. You are not leaving me here. And what are you going to do about it? Ooh. I'm not going to let you win. Okay. Ooh. Talk, fight, or give up. You feel your hands shaking and your heart beating. Da, 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 da. Okay. Uh, fight. Oh, shift to run. Ooh! Good. You feel your hands shaking and your heart beating. Talk. Jack. Come on, Sean. I know you don't want to do this. Do you? Do you really? We might have been the same person once, but now? Everyone expects me to be you all the time. And I'm not more than just you. But I'm more than just you. I'm sick of drowning in you so much I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh, dang it! Stop trying to change your fate. Oh, the game crashed! Oh no! It auto-saved, so... You feel your hand shaking and your heart beating. Come on, Sean, you know you don't really want to do this. Do you? Do you really? We might have been the same person once, but now? Everyone expects me to be you all the time. And I'm more than just you. I'm sick of drowning in you so much that I don't even know who I am anymore. You, I, you feel powerless. He doesn't seem to see you. Um, talk? I know that's not true. You stayed for Jenny and Cliff. You wouldn't leave without them. I know you still care. That's not what this is about. Then what is it about? It's about the real reason we're doing this. For the subscribers. It's because we want to make them happy. It's because they expect it of us. And I'm sick and tired of keeping up this facade. Um. Oh. Okay, uh, you have to change his mind, but he isn't listening. Um, oh god, okay. What do you mean? You aren't making any sense. You! You have no idea what it's like trying to act the same way day in and day out. With everyone recognizing the real person behind it all, it's tiring. If it weren't fun for me, you'd make these videos. I would quit a long time ago. But now, it's starting to lose its luster. Um, 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 avoid the blue words, okay? Uh... <gasps> Made it. You want to tell him this is a good momentary feeling, but the words won't come out. I'm gonna try anyway. Who do you think you're over- 
don't you think you're overreacting? Maybe we do need a change of pace, but getting rid of me isn't going to do anything. Like what, a vacation? Do you really think we could just put everything down and turn off our social media and uploads that long? Three days off the schedule and the relentless algorithms of the internet revelance won't even begin to crush us. And even if I could take a vacation, I can't go to the movies without you being called out, too. Ever heard of a burnout? Well, I suppose a little ball of energy like you wouldn't understand. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, your mind reels, how can you, how can you discount me like this? Talk. So, you're just giving up? You don't know what I've been through. I don't even share that with you. You literally can't feel despair. You can't understand how this feels. You're just one face out of many. One little piece of me who monkeys around for amusement for others. Haven't you seen what they're saying about you? I guess you wouldn't care. You don't care about what you do reflects on us. Anything to get a laugh, right? And it was all right for a while, and now we're too divided. I need more space from you. We can't coexist anymore. Um, is he right? Talk. The community isn't going to care if, you, if you're me all the time. They won't see our real face, even if they don't like what they see. They want the connection. We've always tried to be genuine and honest. Why should it be a difference now? I can barely muster up the energy anymore, Jack. I can't be the person they want, and I don't want them, and I don't want to let them down. I can't let them down. This is my only way to end this. Whoa! No! No! Oh, shit. Damn. Okay, so now I have to run from him and avoid the letters. Got it. Okay. You have to save him before he does something he'll regret. Talk. You're wrong about the subscribers. You're wrong about the community. They really care about you. Yeah, they might say that. But they're just looking for their next laugh, their next 20 minutes of entertainment. Now stop struggling. I'm sick of this fighting. One of us has to win. It has to be me. I have to make it right. You think you're losing. What is it you have to make right? I need to set us all free. And I can't do it if you keep getting in my way. I can help you. I don't want your help. It's over. I'm sorry if I made you feel that way, but for me, even if it's only 20 minutes of laughter, it's sometimes the only 20 minutes in a day I can laugh. You keep me company, like a friend, when there's no one. Thank you. Please, just thank you. It's not just her. We all love you. Not just because you're freaking hilarious, but also because, you know, it's real for us. I have millions of friends to talk to whenever I'm down or when I'm super excited about anything. You give me the energy and the inspiration to keep doing what I love, which is creating. So, thank you. I am so proud of who you are and what you're doing. Thank you for giving me the courage to follow my dreams. You made me want to create again, to just keep on trying until I crack whatever the hell it is I'm doing. I mean, hey, how cool is that, dude? Don't give up. Stay determined! I believe in you! See? They do care. Even if it doesn't feel like it. I know that's easy to forget. 
But that's why I'm here. That's why you need me. Because you can't do it alone. And nobody should expect you to either. Burdens are lighter when carried by two. Or more, like a few million more. I'm sorry, Jack. Don't be. I might not be able to feel despair, or burnout, or anything negative, really. But I think that helps me see things in a better way. It helps me see you the way everyone else does. It's so easy to forget that everyone else sees us differently than we see ourselves. So let me continue to be the one to remind you of that. Thanks. Now come on. I think we've been separated for far too long. Aww. <laughs> well, that feels better. Aww. Thank you. So that's what all those stars are. Each one of them is a subscriber out there. That was really cool. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back and geek out for a second. Um, that was really cool. So those were recordings. I'm I'm assuming here. Those were recordings of actual people who watch his videos or who are subscribed to his videos, you know, or they could be, you know, just people in the game developing, you know, the game developers, but still people who really really do enjoy his videos or they really do enjoy the hard work that he puts into his videos every day on a daily basis twice a day everything and I know and you know last year was not his his best year and everything and you know everybody hits that burnout point at some at some time and you know sometimes they just need to take a step back and just relax or you know to catch their breath even youtubers have to catch their breath sometimes it's it's easy to lose sight of you know where you are because of that burnout you know I've been there and, and I felt it you know I'm not a youtuber but um, I don't know when you just hit a burnout or you hit that wall and it doesn't really seem like you know you're I don't know like you're, you feel so stuck that you can't even get past you can't even get past that wall you can't even see what's behind it you know or it's really hard for you to see through it or behind it but when you see these beautiful messages like this, it really brings you back and it really helps tear that wall down. You know, when you see those inspiring messages from people saying how you make their day better or you, you know, you make them laugh or you, you inspire them to, to do to do what they want to do with their lives, you know, you inspire them to, you know, start a YouTube channel or to go out and get that job promotion or to go to college or just anything like that, you know, because there's so much positive energy in the JSC community anyway, you know, and it's, it's really cool to get behind it and it's really cool to be a part of as well. Um, because there's all that support there. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling, but you know, this is really, really sweet. It's very, very touching. Um, so I can't wait to see Jack play this. Um, it's, it's really, really touching, very touching. I can't sprint, so I'm just, can't sprint, so I'm just walking. <clears throat> oh, I'm back in my own house now. Okay. I'm back in my own house. Can I sprint anymore? I can. Hmm. I can't go in my bathroom. I can't go in my kitchen. I need to check on my friends. Oh, good deal. Let's go, Let's go to your friends then. Hey, Jenny and Cliff, awesome. I thought you two were gone. Is everything okay? Wow, thanks for the warm welcome. Well, you know, that's not what I meant. So what happened? There was a burst of light and I don't remember much. Yeah, me neither. It was weird. Eh, don't worry about it. I'm glad you're back. Um, where's Sean? Well, here. I mean, we were the same person this whole time. Now it's just official. I still can't believe Billy did all that. Believe it or not, Billy was just trying to help. My Sean's side did some digging while trying to figure out how to get us back and found out what happened. I mean, it's kind of convenient, you know, me meeting all of my subscribers and beloved game characters. It, it read a bit like a fan fiction, and that's what it was. A well-intentioned story starring me being written by a little boy trying to fix something he saw was broken. But 
How on earth did he do it? Billy isn't installed like the other characters. He's from a Flash game, so he was saved in the cookies on my computer. Part wirish, part internet? He's basically one of the most powerful people here. So he used the internet to bring us all here and send you on an ego trip? I doubt that was it. I think he brought us here to show Jack how valuable he is to us. Yeah, I agree. But he sort of underestimated how complicated things can become because, well, at his heart, he's really just a little boy, doing the best that he can. So why are we still here? Well, he must be uploading everyone, but I think he queued us last. He must have wanted to make sure that we had a chance to say goodbye. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's like, oh, they're having a hard time saying goodbye. So, I guess we should say goodbye and stuff before Billy sends us off. Well, man, it was great meeting you, even if no one is going to believe me. And I may not believe it myself, but, you know, this is the most awesome thing that's ever happened to me. Well, it's not like this is goodbye forever. We could still meet at conventions and stuff. And we'll always have you two. And sadly, the closest convention to me is AwesomeCon, but you haven't been to that one. Well, you never know. I guess I could Google it or something. Or you could ask them to hire you. <laughs> that would probably be more effective. I'll see you around, man. Yeah, thanks for everything. I'll see ya. Aww, and if- Oh, okay. So, I guess it's time for me to... I really want to say thank you, Jenny, for everything. If it weren't for you, I don't know how this would have ended. Eh, no problem. It all really meant a lot to me. All of this. I'll never forget it. I'm really happy to have met you. Oh no, you're gonna make me cry too. Come here. Thank you, Sean. Oh no! <laughs> oh man, ouch! Right in the fields! Oh. <laughs> oh man, I've been playing with these characters forever and now they're just gone! Oh. God, it sucks. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right, I'm good. <clears throat> You're welcome. Oh, I'm back in my house. Okay. Oh, well, that was a relief. End your adventure here? No. No, I want to go and go explore a little bit. I think I can get one recording in before I go to bed. Alright, well... Aw, uh, my kitchen's fixed. And I got my cake! I should probably cover this up. Don't want it to attract flies. Yeah, that's a good idea. Your cooker's working! My cooker has never been so beautiful and undamaged. Aw, is that painting still that paint? Yep. <laughs> Oh, I love, I love that painting. Hmm, maybe it's time to retire that portrait. Can I have it? I want it! I want it! <laughs> can I go into my bathroom? I can. My bathroom's back to normal. No more sands, no more merchandise, no more... Oh. My nice folded towel. Seriously, when did I even do that? <laughs> Good question, who knows. Oh man, a nice warm bath sounds wonderful after everything that happened, but... Ah, oh, that can wait for now. I love the music. The music is really pretty, and that's what's really hitting it for me. I've always been really moved by really pretty music. <clears throat> hmm, very tempting. And I think I'll indulge after I record. Okay. End your adventure here. <sighs> I really don't want to, but... Yeah. Jenny, Cliff, and everyone else are waiting for me. So, I guess it's back to work I go! Top of the morning to you laddies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back!
Created, written, directed by Katie Pendu. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. So we get to see, like, the different things that happened while I was gone. Oh. <laughs> Jessica Zimmerman. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's such a sweet game. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, little Trico and oh. Encore, encore. I know there's a sequel coming out, but bravo, bravo. Wow, that was so freaking cool. Wow. I really, really like that game, and I can't wait for the sequel to come out now. Oh, I hope it gets here, like, really soon. Okay, I gotta turn this music down. It's a little loud. But, oh my gosh, guys, that is fantastic. Holy cow, that is so freaking cool. Oh, man. And, you know, I had my suspicions here. I thought, I really thought we were going to meet Auntie in the end. I have no idea if we're going to meet him in the, in the sequel, but I really thought it was Auntie the whole time behind this thing. So I was completely and utterly mistaken. So that is such a cool little twist there because there, like throughout the game, when you're playing as Jack, there's like no indication that he is acting weird or acting out. The fact that they were two separate people the entire time, you never knew. There, there, it was like a ironic twist. Like you never saw it coming at all because of that amazing personality that he always shows and that he always has. And then it comes to find out that no, you know, it's two totally different people. But I thought it was Auntie the whole time because I thought I heard a glitch in Gladys's voice. And I thought that the static in her monologue, you know, had something to do with it as well. So I was completely wrong. Um, but it, that is just really a gorgeous game all over. The music is beautiful. And you can download the music too. And it's free um, on Game Jolt. Of course, the links are in the description. So if you want to go play this for yourself or if you want to go download the soundtrack, please go ahead and do it. It is worth it. It is so much fun and cute and gorgeous and they've captured the likeness of the characters. They captured the personality of the characters really well. Anyway, it was just a really well thought out, well produced, very articulate game, very smart and again just that huge ironic BAM in your face. Like you never saw it coming, you never would have thought twice about it. Amazing job guys. This is really awesome. You guys put so much hard work into this and you should be very very proud of yourselves very proud of yourselves because this is very very well done very well done and i'm so glad i got a chance to play it um and share it with you guys um the story was fun the dialogue was fun the humor the wit the fourth wall breaking every once in a while the meta humor oh it was great fun i loved the amount of detail that you guys put into the pixel art here especially the glados character that was awesome and brilliant like I can't even imagine how long it must have taken you guys to make that because that was just phenomenal uh, the drawing of that was phenomenal um, you know looked just like her and oh, it was so cool amazing people we like to thank oh, okay and they all have Jacksepticeye hoodies on oh that's so cool Oh, they all get to meet each other and go out on double dates and oh, <laughs> I like, I like Elfie. She's so shy and cute. Her girlfriend is so bubbly and she's so shy and that's cool. High five me, bro. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, I love these drawings and I really like the little fan arts that you guys included in there and the recordings of the fans and stuff like that. If those were actual, well, if, you know, the actual subscribers, that's really cool. And oh my gosh, look at how detailed that is. That is beautiful. I don't think any of this is recording, but oh, oh, that moment at the end when she disappeared after they have oh, that makes me tear up. Oh, that's so sweet. 
you for being a valuable, irreplaceable member of the community. You're amazing and you can do incredible things. Oh, I don't want this game to be over. I want to keep playing. All right, everyone, please gather a little closer. Yes, that's it. We are going to give Jack a proper send-off with the Wildland National Anthem. Let's just get this sentimental crap over with. It is so much more than just sentimental. It is our culture, our heritage, our... Yeah, yeah, can we just get to the part where I sing over everyone? Oh, if you want me to be quieter, I can be. No! Everyone has to sing like they're running away from a wild axe man! That's tradition, too! May, stop jumping up and down. It's really distracting. Billy, do you want to stand next to me up front? Yeah, let's keep all the tall people in the back where they belong. Also, baby, can you try to be a bit less creepy this time? I will try, but this is my default voice. <laughs> there are no guarantees. Uh, guys? Why are the officers here? I think they're here to get everyone in place. Oh! Don't push me. I can move on my own. <laughs> That's cute. They have voices. Attention! <laughs> we are going to give Jack the best damn send-off in the history of send-offs, so you maggots better shape up or ship out. Where shall I stand? Doesn't matter. You're not, like, corporate. Corporeal. Shh. We're about to start. <laughs> everyone ready? Let's begin! Verstotska. Ugh, wrong country! <laughs> well, that's how you pronounce that game. Sarcastic pasta. Ooh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Later. Oh, how cool is that? Phew, long day. That was really long signing, but it looks like everyone is going back home, except for the 18 plus crowd. Huh? Walk, 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 walk. <gasps> Yay! Jenny and Cliff, oh my gosh. So, great convention, right? I was in line to meet you, but got hit by the cutoff. Yeah, it was great. Sorry you didn't get up to me, uh, but hey, we're talking now. So, it happened, right? What happened? Um, you know, that thing? Um... Shane Billy isn't here. Yeah, I miss that guy. I don't. Good guy, though. Yeah? Right, Jenny? Um... It did happen! Sweet. 
Hey, Aaron. Thank you so much for playing this game. The developers and I really appreciate this, and we hope you had a great time. But more importantly, we want you to remember something. I could never have gotten where I am if it weren't for you. And this game wouldn't have been possible if not for the community. Every single one of you is valuable. You may not see that all the time. Hang on. And that's okay. But Aaron, you are important. You're an important part of the community. You're an important part of the lives of the people around you. Too often we're our own harsh, harshest critics and our own biggest bullies. We belittle the impact we have on others because we're too critical of ourselves or underestimate our own gifts and talents. So if you remember anything from this game, please remember that. You are amazing, and you are worth it, Aaron. And you don't feel that way. That's okay, too. There's a huge community out there full of amazing people. <laughs> this is pretty much everything I just said. Um, who will be there for you and will encourage you. And this community exists in part because of you, and that makes you valuable to me and valuable to us. Thank you, Aaron, for being a part of this community. We couldn't do what we do without people like you. And thanks again for playing this game, Aaron. We'll see you around. Oh. oh my gosh, I thought it was gonna end there, but it didn't! Oh my gosh, I don't know why I'm crying. Welcome to the gallery. Be sure to talk to everyone and look at everything. Okay, uh, let's go check it out. Who are you? Hi. Hi, I'm Emmy, and I play Jenny in Maya in this game. Oh, cool. Keep spreading the magic that is your joy and optimism in this world. It is a great, crazy road trip so far. Best bud Jack is the driver's seat and his millions of fans in the back seat, having to rip roaring tide. Cheers. Oh, cool. All right, so that's the Katie Pen Pennu. Katie Pennu. Okay. Well, awesome job, Katie. And I read your first name, but I couldn't read your last name, so that's really cool. Good job. Good on you. Hi, Jack. I'm Kat, and Kitty Cat Thing. Or kitty cat thing, if you've ever seen my username in the comments. Would you look at this? I'm in a video game. <laughs> I've been in the community for a hot minute now. I was introduced by my best friend and got hooked in October 2016 with the first anti-pocalypse. That's cute. I didn't know they were calling it that. Anyway, that was awesome, dude. I'm still on the edge of my seat with every appearance. Anyways, I'm so, so glad I asked Katie if I could uh, play test for her. I was the first Let's Player of this game, truly an honor, uh, because this game has brought me so many new friends and opportunities and has made me appreciate the, fan the fandom a trillion times more than I already did. Now I'm working with her and the team at SPG. Look out for the sequel. Sweet. And on the YouTube channel as a VA and just generally having a great time. So thanks for that, man, and for all the awesome stuff you do. I really hope you liked playing, and I hope that... You like the bonus track, Cough Syrup, the musical, because there's those are my lyrics, and they were super fun to write. So the Cough Syrup song with the Kate's incredible lyrics is available on the studio's channel on YouTube, and can be seen in the gallery if you look at the busted computer. Okay. And uh, Jessica Zimmerman. Good job, Jess. Oops. <clears throat> hey, Jack. My name is Echo Echo. I'm kind of writing this at 1.56 a.m. and highly sleep deprived. This probably isn't healthy. Anyway, thank you for playing this game. It means a lot to everyone involved. Heart. I love your videos and your personality. I know you hear messages of all different types, but I wanted to say some things in my own way. So thanks, you nerd, for everything. For the laugh, smiles, friends, the pick-me-up and down-to-earth moments. Thank you so much, Jack. You mean a lot to me. Now I'm going to stop so you can talk to others. Happy gaming, you Irish potato. <laughs> <laughs> Happy gaming, you Irish potato. Elena Grace. Elena Grace. Elena Grace. Okay. Aww. Okay, I gotta know who made this one here. Jessica Zimmerman. Awesome job. Woo! This is huge. Huge, 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 huge. Whoa! Damn! It just. It, ooh. Oh my gosh. There's so many. Chico, can I talk to you? Round of applause for our. <coughs> 
Oranog, who made this Trico sprite. It took quite a while to convert him into a pixelated um, form, but playtesters responded very favorably to him, and it was worth it. Good. It's also nothing that Annie Alice did with the Gladys sprite and completely blew the team away with how great it looked. Yes, that was amazing, Annie. Really good job on that. Are you Auntie? Auntie, how's it going? This isn't fair. I should have been the villain of the game. Ha! Ha! I know. I mean, glitching into a computer and having to face against yourself. Why the developers have to make this all psychological? Well, you're here now. Sure, fan service. I didn't even get a face set. <laughs> How unfair is this? Yeah, sorry, man. Maybe someone will make you a villain of your own game one day. Oh, trust me, this isn't over. This one is really good. I like this one. The Concept Art of Sean by Elena Wagner. Good job, Elena. Very nice. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. Same person. Same person. Very nice. And who are you? I like the red in your hair. It's pretty. <laughs> it's been a while, two years, and I still don't have anything clever to say to the player. Oh, well, maybe next time. I kidding. Thanks for the playing. I'm Mayorky. Mayorky. Sorry. I'm Mayorky. And the main programmer and assistant audio uh, artist slash video editor. A lot of what I worked on isn't very visible to the player, but it was nice to help out with the art and mapping here and there too. I hope that the boss, if anything, can help encourage or motivate people to keep on creating what they like, even if they're completely new to it or you feel like more, your efforts will be eventually pay off, so keep going. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. You're awesome. And, and while I'm just a guest developer and won't be a permanent part of this game studio, please show that this team Please show this team support if you enjoyed what they did. God, yeah, I did. Um, never really know how to say goodbyes, though, so I'll just leave you with this, and maybe you can figure this out. When you were saying goodbye to your friends, don't you feel like someone didn't belong? See you around. Make work you. Hmm. Like someone didn't belong, huh? Huh. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind, though. Hey there, Jack. December update. Because you said you wanted to play this game on the 13th, I decided to do some minor edits to it to fix it up some issues and polish a few things. Uh, since it's three months since the game released, we've gotten some awesome fan art for it, which we're displaying here. Thank you so much for all the people, to all the people who did that. Uh, okay, absolutely love fan art and appreciate everyone who took the time to make some. It is a shout out to the community here. Thank you so much for all the kind words you've said about the game. Got so many glowing, wonderful reviews and fan art, and even theories. Weird, and we treasure everyone. You have supported us through a lot of hard times, read our silly Tumblr posts, and encouraged us every step of the way. We can't thank you enough for your support. This game really was a love letter to the community, much more than a game for Jack. You completely deserve every second of effort we put into it. We love you guys, love you so much. Our Casa Pasta games. Oh, how sweet is that? You guys are awesome. Cute! I don't know if you remember this, but you were blogged this one in Tumblr, and you were a little concerned you accidentally spoiled the game. Oh, I'm not Jack, so I don't know. <laughs> They're carrying their box. That's cute. Oh, dude, that's awesome! Kitty cat thing. Aww. 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 Let's go save my subscribers. Aww. That's cute. I don't like that. Okay, so let's shield sushi. Liggy. Upcoming games are uh, and we like to uh, and we like to offer you a role of yourself, Jack. Email us at blah 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 if you like to participate. There won't be much speaking in this game, so it'll be very easy. The boss of the boss.
right, we hope that you love the game and will be willing to help Sarcastic Pasta Game get off the ground. Their contact info is included in the game files. Thank you again for playing. Now enjoy this one last thing before. Wow. Wow. Outstanding. I really cannot wait for the sequel. Oh man, that's going to be really exciting to play. That was such a delight. I kind of at a loss for words. I don't know what how much more I can say because I was geeking out about how amazing it was anyway. And I know I'm not Jack playing it and I know he didn't, I look back on the live stream and I know he didn't play a lot of it. He couldn't get past his uh, the apartment because he was having some malfunctions with recording. But still, when he does finally get to this, I think he is going to have so much more to say. He's going to be way more articulate than I am right now. Um, when he plays this and when he gets to the ending and everything like that, he's going to have so much more to say because this was made for him. Well, more so it was made for us. It was made for the fans. It really charged me. It really did. And that's exactly what I was expecting. I was, it was, I mean, the story, you know, was completely, was a complete twist. You know, I had no idea what was coming. I deliberately kept everything away from myself so I could play it. So I had no idea who the actual villain was or anything like that. And who knows what the sequel is going to hold. That's going to be really fun to play and see. But if it's anything like this one, I know I'm going to not going to be disappointed. With these fan games, there's always that beautiful message in there too. And that's what really got me the most, was that beautiful message that the developers of this game put into the ending credits there for us, you know, so not everything was just about Jack. It wasn't just for Jack. It was for everyone. You know, everyone who was a part of the community, everyone who helped support this game, everyone who helped bring it to fruition, things of that nature. But it wasn't, it was so much more than that too. It was, the message, you know, is the one that got to me. Is the one that made me cry because <laughs> it's true. We are we are our harshest critics and we are our biggest bullies and we can be the ones that can put ourselves down. And that beautiful message at the end there, you know, just to let you know that you don't, you don't have to do that to yourself. You're so much more valuable than how you perceive yourself. And that's very true. We are more valuable than we perceive ourselves. And it's that positive mental attitude that we should, you know, 
really start to incorporate into ourselves because we are valuable. We are so much more than what we do say about ourselves or what we think about ourselves. And we do have a good support from this community and I'm so happy to be a, proud, a part of it. I'm so proud of it. I'm so happy to be a part of it. Um, it's just... It's just awesome to see, and it's really good to it's really good to remind yourself of your self worth every once in a while because sometimes you need it. You know, sometimes you need it. So thank you. Thank you, developers. Thank you for everyone who helped make this game. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for bringing this to life for us. It was such an honor to play it and such a delight to play it. And I can't wait to see the rest of the story. Anyway, I'm going to call this video here and that's the end. It's over. And I didn't think, I didn't know how much longer this game had. Um, five episodes, it's, it's not bad. So a couple hour gameplay, you know, so if you have a day to yourself and you want to sit down and play this or you can break it up into sections or whatever, again, it's free to play. The music is free to download. You can listen to it even if you don't feel like playing the game yourself or if it's not, you know, your kind of game. I strongly encourage you guys to go play it. Um, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to do awesome, be awesome, and stay awesome. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.